bulk tin matching using the Service Bureau. This tutorial will show you how to generate a file to upload and send to the Service Bureau for recipient name and taxpayer identification number, or TIN, matching. Remember that bulk tin matching via the 1099 Pro Service Bureau requires that you call to set up an appointment beforehand. Please call 888-776-1099 and ask to schedule a bulk tin matching appointment if you don't already have one. By this step, you should have imported your data into the 1099 Pro software. Under the second step, entitled Printing and Mailing, click on Via the Service Bureau. Then click the Bulk 10 Matching Upload button located at the top right corner of your screen to initiate a helpful wizard that will guide you through the upload process. Now carefully read the next three informational screens, pressing Next after each screen. Press on the Check for Updates Right Now button to ensure that you are running the most current version of your software. Then press Next to continue. In the next screen, you can select which eligible records you want to upload. You can choose Selected Form Types for All Filers or Selected Form Types for Selected Filers. The Service Bureau suggests selecting Selected Form Types for All Filers. Once you've chosen which type of tax forms you're filing, this action will combine all filers into one easy upload. Press Next to continue. Read the warning window that appears carefully, then press OK. In this screen, you can select the form types you want to include in your upload. For this example, we will highlight 1099 miscellaneous and press the Tag button to select it. Press Next at the bottom of your screen. Please read the top of the next screen carefully. The next option allows your records to be matched by name and number only. EIN and SSN formatting will be ignored. You will not be able to import the returned results for matching purposes if this option is turned on. The Service Bureau recommends that you leave this option off. You can specify where the upload file should be created. In almost all cases, you will want to save your upload to the default location. Press Next to continue. Enter your contact information and create a password. This password will be used to encrypt your bulk 10 matching results. The password has to be a minimum of 8 characters and a maximum of 30. Also note, you will want to write this password down as it will be required to unlock the results file that's returned to you by 1099 Pro. Press Next to continue. Select your printer and press Next. Verify that your information is correct and press Finish. A pop-up window will appear telling you an upload file was created successfully and saved to the default location or your selected location. Press OK. A pop-up window titled Submit a Service Bureau Upload will appear with options that will help you create a file for your upload. Click on the View Control Totals Report button under Step 1. Your report will appear in a new window. Please read the instructions on the page carefully, then confirm your totals. Now close the window. If you do not agree with the totals, you can press cancel at the bottom of the screen. You can save a copy of the report to your computer by pressing Save Control Totals Report to selected location. You then need to re-enter the total number of forms you are uploading under Step 2. Select your preferred upload method. The Service Bureau suggests the default option, built-in HTTPS Secure Transfer, to securely send your data to the Service Bureau over the Internet. If the first method fails due to your internal firewall, we suggest you try the second option, built-in FTP using the Internet. If you choose Manual Transfer, you're going to be prompted to choose a location where a file will be created that you're going to have to send to us via our FTP website. Please call 866 444-3559 or email to sb at 1099pro.com for instructions. Make sure you have selected the correct printer. Now that you have verified that your control totals are correct, type in your name as a digital signature for the printing and mailing of your forms. You are now ready to begin the upload process. Press Upload My File at the bottom of the screen. Another window will pop up informing you the file was uploaded successfully. Press OK to continue. 
Another confirmation sheet will be immediately printed. You will now be able to see your uploaded session listed. Notice that the status of your filing session is listed as done. Finally, our Service Bureau will contact you once your forms have been received and processed. Thank you.